It was a hard-hitting and high-octane affair in New York as the Seattle Seawolves took on Rugby United. Yeah, short ball here from uh, Suniola to hard-charging Rieker Hatting. Did just enough to get his outstretched arm over for a score under the post for Seattle. Loose kick from New York. Seema moves it to the right. And Matt Turner, how good was he in that first half? He takes it in from 60 yards, the former England seven star. Following that up, another Shalom Suniola break up the middle. Inside pass to his uh, supporting scrum half, J.P. Smith, under the post for another Seattle score. First half was all Seattle, but in the second, New York had a lot to say as Will Leonard took down a brilliant cross kick from Cajal Marsh to score a try. Marsh again moves it around to Connor Wallace Sims, and he can find the try zone like nobody's business. Dots down for his five. Final score of the game. Pass inside once again to Suniola, who finds a supporting scrum half. This time it's Phil Mack. Seattle under the post for the icing on the cake. And another cross kick from Marsh. He's really finding it there. And Leonard again, uh, sorry, Luke Hume gets a hold of it. Luke Hume pushes off a couple of people. Dylan Fawcett winds up with it. Dylan Fawcett gets in the try zone for a second time. And with just one score in it, last play of the game, Will Leonard puts it forward onto the defense of Seattle, and they can't handle it. Marsh comes up with it, nearly dragged in a touch, but he is able to keep that one alive. Alex McDonald touches it down, and it is do or die right now for this New York team. Unfortunately, they couldn't make it happen. Final score, 38 Seattle, 31 New York. And here's what the standings look like, the real story. Yes, Seattle leapfrogging New York into third place now, leaves New York fourth. Game tomorrow, however, could see Toronto leapfrog New York again, leaving them on the outside looking in at the playoffs. That's it from MCU Park, and we are going to see you at the next rugby game.